Yo, what is up guys? Coach The Tech here. So today we're building a quote unquote budget PC as well as a setup for Twitch streamer. Let's get to it. All right, you guys. So if you follow my social media, of course, Twitter, Instagram, at Coach Tech Media, you know, I got to shout my own self out there, of course. <laughs> but anyways, you guys know that uh, I've been posting that um, a fellow Twitch streamer, you know, reached out to Kosha. She saw, you know what I'm saying, she saw a bunch of good PC setups, a bunch of good giveaways, and she's like, look, man, I'm tired of gaming on a console, all right? I'm just tired of it. I want to get onto the PC setup. So I was like, I right, bet, you know, I got you. Let me know your budget. So she hits me up. She's like, yo, my budget is 500. So I was like, I right, bet, you know, I'm going to try to see what I could, you know, get here for $500. So, you know, Coach got to do his little shopping at Micro Center. You know, shout out to Micro Center, of course, and some of Amazon stuff. And you know, I, I come up with some parts and then I was like, yo, unfortunately we gotta go a little above your budget. She's like, bet, how much? I'm like, buy $200. So we were looking more like around, it was all of this basically, what it should have been was like around 670 to 700 bucks. She's like, all right, screw it, man. You know, I'm, I'm really taking this seriously. I really wanna do it. Um, and I was like, all right, bet. And so, you know, I got all the parts together, yada, yada, yada. And originally, originally I had uh, we had different originally the, the setup to what it is to what what it is now is completely different for the processor We had a 60 you know, Ryzen 5 1600 for the power supply. We had an RX 650 I, I 750 I probably should have left it, but you know kosher got to do what kosher got to do uh, we had other stuff, but anyways Kosher went all out uh, shout out to Safira uh, all of her information is gonna be um in the description below guys as well as this entire pc everything everything is going to be in the description below guys if you want to buy it if you know if you guys definitely guys go follow her you know give her a shout out um i'm gonna have everything in the description below for her and the pc parts but regardless anyways i'm getting sidetracked anyways the parts i picked guys i'm about to show you listen it went above budget I, <laughs> she doesn't know she doesn't know at all how much i spent how much you know we put in you know, we had an agreement that she knows this is what she owes me. That's all it is. But kosher, kosher went all out. So this, I'm going to give you guys, this is not an order. This is basically what I got for her to build this PC. All right, first things first, we got a brand new RM850 power supply. Uh, I did have the 750. I had the 750, but I did get an open box. I, get, I got a Microsoft open box for 80 bucks. The reason why I didn't want to go with it uh, was... It, it was a clearance item and not a clearance. It was actually a manufacturer refurbished item. So, you know, she's new to this. I don't want to have any, you know, I don't want her to have any issues with power supplies. Look, this power supply, even though it's brand new, it could still have issues. But regardless, I'll take a chance on a brand new power supply because she doesn't know anything about PCs. So I just want to, you know, say, screw it. I'm just going to get her an 850 because, you know, just to give her that, that, um, that more of a headroom, a 750 is more than enough, but... It's a kosher build, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got to go all out, man. We got to go out. Right, anyways, next. Listen, man. You guys know how much I love this AIO, all right? Corsair H100i Pro. She got to get it in there, man. We need to have the full liquid cooling setup. We got this also brand new. Next, this was a clearance item that's basically, that was in the uh, original purchase. This is the Gigabyte um, Aura's B450. Uh, Mobo, this is also the Wi-Fi version, so uh, pretty good board, good entry-level board. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do some slight overclocking, nothing too insane. Again, this is gonna be more for her streaming, you know, just 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 to get a just to get the setup going for her. Uh, next, this was a really good deal, another open box hustle deal. This is the um, just give you guys a quick look, the XFX uh, RX 590 graphics card. Again, a beast graphics card. I got this for what, 180? Yep, 180, 186. Uh, this was honestly a steal. And the Mobo, I, uh, I believe the Mobo was like 60 bucks uh, because you know I got the processor and all that through Micro Center. They hook it up. And for processor, now, like I said, the processor originally was a 16, uh, um, I was about to say RX, a Ryzen 5 1600. But Kosha had to do what Kosha had to do and he got, let, 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 let it focus. As you guys can see, yes, yes, guys. Yes, I wanted to get our eight core processor. We have the Ryzen 7 1700X, man. I want to have an eight core processor. I don't want it to have any issues with multitasking when she's going to be streaming. 
as well as you know other things that she she you know she might be doing i just want her to utilize as much horsepower as she possibly can guys all right next we got ram now originally this is originally well, i already spoiled it for myself but originally we went with uh 16 gigs this is i got this on clearance this is the uh the g skill ram i got this on clearance for how much is it for 67 bucks uh, but Kosha likes everything in pairs, so we got two. So we got 32 gigs of DDR4. I think clocked at 3,000 megahertz. So this RAM, this RAM, oh, look at that. This RAM um, goes up to 3,000. So, of course, we're going to try to do that. 32 gigs, guys. Crazy. Uh, next, of course, we got to go the uh, the Corsair lighting. You guys know how much I love this lighting, uh, the RGB light strips. This is absolutely amazing. These things are fire. On every giveaway rig, on everything, I always got to throw in some Corsair RGB light strips. Next, uh, the original purchase was for a 860 EVO 500 gigs. This is what we um, this is what we agreed to. This is what I got her. But Kosher likes everything in pairs, so we get one more. So we got two. All right, we got one more 500 gig SSD Evo. So two Samsung Evos, 860s. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do RAID Zero. I'm just gonna have two separate ones and we're, she's gonna have one terabyte of storage. Uh, next, of course, we gotta get a two terabyte of storage. Now this is gonna be basically, you know, for if she wants to archive any videos just for her to have enough space i don't know exactly what she's gonna do but it's gonna be enough storage again this is something new that's you know she's she's not used to pcs and i don't want to just throw in there and just say yo you got to do this and this and i want to hook her up man as much as i can basically i just wanted to get the pc get everything going and just for her to start streaming that's it next we got well these are my chinese fans you guys know how much i like the the ago dark flash um we got two of them so six fans I'm gonna pair them up. Of course, they're gonna look fire. Uh, next, the case. Um, let me bring the big ass case over here for you guys to see. All right, so this is the Corsair uh, 275R. I did review this case. Uh, I did hate on it because of the tempered glass design. Uh, thankfully, Corsair actually uh, revised it. I believe this is their more revised version and there's finally thumb screws. But you guys can see it's tempered glass all white. It's absolutely sexy. It's an amazing case for airflow. Uh, we're gonna definitely go with that. All right, so next. So just to let you guys know, she's not going to know most of these parts. This is this is not to what we had originally agreed. I told her that I might do some, some, some just to give her that extra, extra kosher spice. But next, we got a Corsair M65 mouse. You guys know how much I love this mouse. This is the Elite. I never actually opened it. I never tested it out. I guess there's some more little better RGB features. But of course, she gets a mouse. Streaming setup. A K55 RGB keyboard again she doesn't know she's, she doesn't know that she's getting any of this uh and lastly a corsair mouse pad the mm 800 but that's that guys um but yeah that's that i mean this is um this is something that i uh just i actually you know went all out just to help her out just to get her, um, just just to get everything for her to stream and just for her to you know enjoy it and kick it. You know this is this is what Kosha Tech is all about, man. This is what the channel is all about, and it's all about you know. But I, I'm I'm excited. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'm excited. But anyways, uh, let's get this PC built, guys. Uh, but let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, you guys. So before I'm gonna get this thing built, I just wanted to show you guys this one more time where we got everything set up here. Of course, those are the fans, the hard drive, the power supply, the light strips, the processor, the RAM, the SSDs. We got the graphics card. We got the MOBO. Of course, we got the case. Uh, we got the peripherals back there. So, yeah, man, I, I'm guys, <laughs> I'm ecstatic for this, man. Let's go, yo. All right, so I'm going to build this. Um, I'm not going to do a time lapse. I'm just going to do it by segment, so it's going to be a... A little quicker and better for you guys to, as well to see. But yeah, that's the setup, guys. One last look up top. It looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Bye, guys. Let's go. All right, you guys. You guys can see that everything is a mess. Uh, the build is coming along beautifully. I got the uh, dark flash fans over here just lined up. They're all going to be intake. 
So far I got the processor, I got 32 gigs installed. Uh, it looks really nice up top. We're gonna have the AIO and on the back, we're gonna have exhaust. So we're gonna have exhaust in the back and exhaust on top. And the only intakes we're gonna have in the front. So that's fantastic airflow. But yeah, next is gonna be the graphics card to install and the AIO guys. Let's go. Actually right, guys, as you guys can see, it is all complete. This came out really, really fire, guys. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look before we roll that B-roll. Of course, the RGB light strips are installed right there in the corner. All around the case, we have the uh, Ago fans all installed out here. All looking nice, nice and clean, man. I'm loving this right here. We have uh, intake over here, and we have uh, exhaust over here. So it's gonna look nice. The LEDs are gonna look absolutely fire, guys. But one more time, just to give you guys a quick look, it looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, man. But all right, it's that time right now. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's roll that B-roll. Let's go. Right, you guys i hope you like that fresh b-roll now look as you guys saw as you guys can see now the pc turned out to be absolutely amazing man these chinese fans make it pop of course uh and the corsair led light strips of course just you know bring out the look and the you know tempered glass i mean you guys see for yourself the system aesthetically looks absolutely amazing plus the hardware that's inside of course the 1700x the fat boy graphics card the 590 and you know, all the good stuff in there. But anyways, let's talk about benchmarks. Let's talk about what I actually got with this, um, with the PC. So I did overclock the 1700X to 3.9 gigs, and I did get the memory to 3000 megahertz. Now I did um, benchmark some games, guys, and we're gonna talk about that right now. So the first one, now this is not in order. So the first game that I got was Far Cry 5. Now I did this on ultra settings, and we got an average of 74 FPS. Now, again, this is all gaming on 1080p. This is the sweet spot for this graphics card. Of course, you can go up to 1440p as well with this graphics card. And I did not overclock the, the graphics card. I just honestly just, just left it as is. And all I did was basically just increase the power uh, slider. And that's basically it. I really didn't want to just go, you know, into into the to the graphics it, it's, it's not going to be a huge it's not going to be a huge overclock regardless but anyways that's that uh next game we got was metro exodus uh, i uh, we got it at high settings and we got an average of 49 now that game is very demanding guys as you guys know yourselves next we got overwatch um i got overwatch at overwatch was actually good overwatch is something that she plays so i'm happy that you know it just turned out to be fantastic overwatch we got an average of 95 fps a uh, apex is another game apex legends um that she plays a lot too so we got that at 91 fps now that's going to be perfect for exactly what she needs gta 5 uh we basically i turned everything up to its maximum all i did was i just turned down the msaa down to two and we got an average of 60 fps and the last game that i did was division two at high settings and we got an average i believe at 60 fps so look in conclusion guys i'm ecstatic this setup this rig is absolutely beast um i hope she's gonna like it uh, we you know there's a lot of things that's gonna be a surprise you know when she gets it i know she's gonna <laughs> i hope she's gonna love it um 
But yeah, I mean, let me know, guys. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, basically what you guys think about the setup, the rig. And she got some other stuff. She's going to get some other stuff as well that I hooked her up as well. I'm going to let her, you know, bring that out on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram. And I'm going to have everything about her channel, you know, where to follow her on social media, on her Twitch channel, everything in the description below, guys. But anyways, guys, you know, this is some kosher loving, guys. But that's that. Let me know what you guys think. And of course, I'm going to catch you guys later. Deuces. I think we're Gucci.